Welcome to my May 15th video update. So for today's episode, my plan was to talk about the Chewing Smooth Q4 that I just received, which is the latest Chewing Smooth Q for smartphones. One nice, really nice thing is it comes with this little tripod that attaches to the bottom so you can stand up. It's very wide span. So I need to try this with my um, selfie stick tripod and see if, if this would be better than the other one. But I'm getting ahead of myself. It has a charging cable and the stick itself and that is that. So I guess I could put this in here. And I still have my Smooth Q gimbal. I didn't sell it. I uh, didn't find a local buyer and I haven't really promoted it much more than a little bit. So this is the four, put you in there. And this is the Smooth Q. And I love this little case. You know, as I said last time, it's kind of like a violin case. And so as you can see, if I put the, this has a charging cable as well. And one little tip is I bought some time ago these Velcro or hook and loop straps. They are in different colors. I mean, this happens to be the same color, so let me pick a different color. There are all kinds of different colors. There's probably, I think I, there are a hundred in the case and that was about the smallest quantity I could get. And I'm glad that I got it, but I put them around everything now. And so I was even thinking that really what I could do if I choose to keep the smooth cue is I could secure it with one of these. This is all unplanned here now. I was, I was gonna actually kind of demonstrate the smooth cue or the smooth four and talk about it, but uh, I decided to share with you something else. So I could put this, well anyway, I could put this around here and that would hold it, which is one of the nice things about the four, that it has this snap. And you know, when it's like this, it snapped closed and it won't flop around when you hold it. But if I was talking the last time too about the relative size of these two things, and you can see if I put this up to where the tripod starts. It is, the Smooth 4 is longer. It's considerably longer, more than I thought it was. It has a much more elaborate control panel. And again, there are lots of, there are tons, and they're getting, it seems to be more every day, reviews of the Smooth 4. So you can take a look at that. The key thing here, key difference, and maybe one, from what I understand, one of the first times a, at least a gimbal for a smartphone has this wheel that allows you to zoom, which not, it's not a really good thing to do with a smartphone, but at least you can do it. And it allows you to fo change focus. So you can pull focus with this by pushing this button down here. And that, those are two very cool features. You know, the, the ability to be able to snap this in place, to be able to use this wheel for focusing and zooming if you choose to do that. The other nice thing that dis dif distinguishes the two is the fact that you have a, a, a toggle switch for two different modes. On the smooth cue, you're kind of guessing which mode you're in. And then the other thing is these, these LEDs light up to tell you how, how much of the 100% is remaining in the battery charge. The other nice thing is that with the four, you are able to, using the, the, the Juing Play app, you're able to control the app from this control panel. You never have, to, you don't have to touch the screen, rarely have to touch the screen. I found that if I wanted to do the follow thing where you draw a square around yourself, you do have to choose that and then draw the square, obviously. So that is, very cool. But I have to be honest with you, and, that, and we've had companies, so I really have not had a chance to, uh, as anxious as I was to get it, I haven't had a chance to really play with it very much. So I took it out today and was walking around the backyard, filming some things, as you see in the intro to this video. And um, yeah, I've watched lots of videos on the Smooth 4, and so I thought that I knew all the features. 
Uh, and, and it's fairly straightforward. You, one of the nice things too is you can go to, uh, to um, uh, manual mode on your camera or on the camera app, the play app. And uh, as I said, you can, you can change the modes by flipping a switch and then there's a, a double button in the back here that allows you to use this phone go mode which allows you to switch real quickly from one scene to another. And the other is locks, locks the, the get motors in place so that it goes down with you if, you, if you're tilting down like this. And I, the reason I decided to go ahead and do this video is that I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it because it, it is a little bit bigger, uh, I mean bulkier in, in, in holding. You know, it's not a whole lot bigger. But, uh, and I love this tripod idea, but you can buy these separately, so that's not a big deal. And for the amount that I have actually been able to make myself use this in the last year, I'm not sure that A, I need two, and B, I'm not sure that the features that make this appealing, and one of the reasons I bought it, are as compelling as I originally thought they were. So it, the jury's out. I need to give it a chance, because really today's the first day that I've really taken it out for any period of time and tried it and to see if, you know, if I could control it the way I like to. I need to watch some videos and check some things, some questions that came up while I was using it. But I really am thinking, I might be selling this and not this. So that, an interesting turn of events that I wasn't expecting. So that's the Zhuing Smooth Q and the Smooth 4 and where I stand with those right now. So we'll see how that uh, plays out. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for today. Don't have a whole lot more to say. Just uh, the question about these uh, gimbals and which one I'm gonna keep. So thank you very much for checking in and I'll have an update for you next week because I'm gonna make a decision within a week or so. Good day.